Greetings loyal subjects, today we visit the magnificent Ludlow Castle and unlock some of the hidden secrets that are hiding in plain view. The castle was built between 1086 and 1094 by Roger de Lacy. It of course gained fame as being the place that my elder brother Arthur died. But this is what we're interested in today. At first glance it may look like a tower but it is in fact a chapel and it's highly unusual because it is circular in nature. Now circular churches tend to indicate one thing, the Knights Templar. This is the insignia of the Knights Templar and as you can see on the reverse of one of the seals we have a circular church. If we look at the most famous Knights Templar Church in England, Temple Church in London, we can see immediately that the nave is circular. So all the indications are that back at Ludlow, the chapel, which is the Chapel of Mary Magdalene, is Knights Templar in nature. The Templars base the designs of their churches on the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem the place where Christ was allegedly crucified and buried. So returning to Ludlow, the chapel is a later addition and it was probably built by Gilbert de Lacy in the 1100s. Now he was an interesting uh, knight. He switched sides during the period of civil war in England called the Anarchy. He switched between King Stephen and the Empress Matilda and he joined the Templar Order in 1158. So inside the Chapel of Mary Magdalene is we have these 13 different seats. Now 13 is a number that is closely associated with the Templars. Maybe it's been a little bit contrived over the years but 13 is a significant number because it is said those that is the number that were present at the Last Supper. Now there are actually 14 arches here. Some of the more eagle-eyed of you will have noticed that. But actually one of the arches, the one in the middle here with the slab, actually wasn't a seat at all. If we look on the outside, which we will do in a moment, You'll see that actually that arch was actually bricked up. It was leading onto a separate structure that was actually part of this chapel. Now also the chapel was two floors in nature. You can see the second floor. That second floor was added during the Tudor era and it, the top floor is where the Council of the Marches would worship. But of course by the Tudor era the Templar Order was long since dissolved, famously on the 13th of October 1307. The King of France, Philip IV, issued a decree that all the Templars were to be arrested and soon across Europe they were all disbanded. But it is interesting and it is highly unique to have this Templar Chapel in the middle of a medieval castle. 